I will abandon the climate cult in all of its forms. Full shot, full stop. And the president can do that. It's woven into the fabric of the federal government now. The EPA, the SEC, they all adopt. I mean, and what does the SEC have to do with this? That's public companies reporting. Well, public companies now have to report how they're contributing to carbon emissions. This is a framework that we've gotten totally wrong. It's, it's what they call the anti-impact framework. It treats carbon as the bad guy and says we have to measure it and decrease carbon emissions at all costs. That has shackled the American energy sector and that is the number one obstacle to GDP growth in this country. I personally think that both parties are playing small ball when it comes to how to deal with the deficit, tax cuts, tax increases versus spending cuts. GDP growth is our answer. This is the, sh this, the climate cult is shackling us from achieving GDP growth, by the way, while leaving China untouched because the very projects that Chevron drops here are picked up by PetroChina on the other side of the world who does not apply or abide by those same set of rules. And last time I checked, I thought it was global climate change. By the way, I'll, I'll give you some facts on this. They will, they will call me a climate denier. That's, I mean, I, I understand these issues, I think, more deeply than most. You'd be hard pressed. I, I grew up in the sciences, okay? I'm gonna share some facts with you. Eight times as many people die of cold temperatures as warm ones every year. The right answer to all temperature-related deaths is more abundant access to fossil fuels. The earth is covered by more greenery today than it was a century ago because carbon is plant food. Turns out plants like to actually grow in a higher carbon environment. Turns out that the climate disaster-related death rate, the number of people who die of hurricanes, tornadoes, heat waves, or other climate disasters is down by 98% over the last century. The idea that we're now shackling ourselves and apologizing for and changing our modern way of life on the basis of this mythology reveals that the climate movement has nothing to do with the climate. It's actually a cult. It's more about punishment, self-flagellation, dominion, and control.